guys hear that? That's the bottom of the barrel being scraped right now. Because Hasbro is officially producing a Vice Admiral Gender Studies <clears throat> Holdo action figure. So when I saw these images from Toy Fair, my mind was blown. I couldn't stop laughing at the fucking prototype. The fact that they're making this toy boggles my mind. Who really asked for this character? She's essentially Space Anita Sarkeesian. Nobody wants her on Earth. Nobody wants her in outer space. But we're going to have to have a toy of her, which is exciting for no one. Now, I know you're going to get those guys that are in the collector's groups that are going to buy it just because it says Star Wars on it. But guys, you don't really do anyone a service because all you're doing is surrounding yourself by plastic crap. Your kids aren't going to want it. It's not going to go up in value because nothing goes up in value that's based on Star Wars anymore. And that's just, not just me being pessimistic. Unless it's vintage, you know people aren't buying it. So why are you? whoop de doo you got your little Laura Dern. I'm sure you could have got her Jurassic Park figure 26 years ago and got the same emotional experience out of it. But I just bring this up because it's surprising that this character, this hated character, is getting a toy. Now, you could make the argument, well, they always make background characters from Star Wars and everybody has an action figure. For the most part, that is correct. But I've never seen people hate on a character as much as Holdo. Yeah, Jar Jar Binks is a joke, but they're just annoyed by how stupid Jar Jar Binks is and wants him to disappear. Holdo is just, like, an actively bad character that causes problems and ruins the franchise. Star Wars is going in a weird direction right now, and this is just going to go further that uh, direction. So... My big question is, are the people that are on io9 and all these other Gawker websites or Screen Junkies or all these other, well, Screen Junkies website, Screen Rant, all these other websites that are championing the feminist agenda for Star Wars movies, are they going to go out and pick up this action figure? No. Do they actively support the brand outside of work? No. It's just stupid and laughable that this is really going to become a thing, so... Listeners, let me know what you think about the Vice Admiral Holdo, a.k.a. Vice Admiral Gender Studies action figure. I told you I think it's stupid. It looks fine, but that's really not a compliment. All the Star Wars figures look like what they're supposed to look like. It's not really a, a feat anymore. It's like a participation trophy. Everybody gets one. Ooh, yay, good job, you showed up. Well, Holdo, you exist as a toy. Good job. Doesn't mean you're going to be a sought-after toy or desired by anyone outside of, like, Jim Clark, random Star Wars collector from Butte, Montana. Now, Hasbro released some images from the toys of Solo, A Star Wars Story, and much like the trailer, the toys leave a lot left to be desired. Lando looks like Donald Glover. Woody Harrelson looks like Woody Harrelson, hairpiece and all. But Alden Ehrenreich's Han Solo doesn't look like Han Solo or Aaron. Aldenreich, Alden Ehrenreich. I can't get his name right. He has the dumbest name, whatever, though. It's not important. The toy looks like a caricature. They all look great, but him? It makes me wonder if this is foreshadowing for the film to come. Every other character but Han Solo is fleshed out, well-established, and interesting. That would suck. That would really suck. Now, over on the smaller scaled action figures, they have the same selection of characters, so you'll see these four figures in stores for months to come. Yay. But I wanted to bring up the Millennium Falcon. It's so tiny compared to what we've gotten in the past. Yeah, that's what she said. And it's embarrassingly bad. If you think about the iconic scene from The Empire Strikes Back with Princess Leia, Han, C-3PO, and Chewbacca in the Falcon's cockpit as they're going through the asteroid field. And, like, think of all the production stills and the lunch boxes and everything you've ever seen with them in that cockpit. And then look at this new cockpit, and it's supposed to be the same ship, mind you, where the figure has to lay down on a bench to fit one action figure in the cockpit. That's, that's kind of dumb that they shrink it down so much. Why not just make the ship look like it did in The Force Awakens or the original films and just... Take that toy that didn't sell out, put it in a new box, and try to sell it to people once again. Normally, you always have the answer, why did they change this? Well, to sell more merchandise. But I don't think it'll sell more merchandise because it's such a poorly conceived piece of shit. Now, Toy Fair wasn't all doom and gloom for Hasbro. I think Hasbro actually won Toy Fair this year because they had a selection of great-looking toys. 
they have this Black Series 6 inch Princess Leia. It looks fantastic. If you like Princess Leia, you know you're going to buy it. If you think it's just a cool toy, you're probably going to buy it because Princess Leia is a cool character, so she deserves to have cool toys. Now, this Shore Trooper or whatever the kind of trooper this thing is, it's probably not a Shore Trooper because those come from Rogue One, but whatever this snow ish trooper from this solo movie is looks awesome. That is a cool looking toy. Am I going to buy it? No, because I don't buy anything that's not from the original films, and I really just don't buy Star Wars stuff anymore at this point. But it's a cool looking toy. But let's close out with the thing that everybody wanted me to talk about. Now, in yesterday's Jar Jar Abrams video where he put his foot in his mouth and made a big mistake by calling fans threatened by women, idiot, many fans asked me to discuss this crowdsourced Jabba the Hutt sail barge. So I looked into it a little deeper, and I have some things to say about it. So first off, if you don't know what I'm talking about, in Return of the Jedi, Jabba the Hutt has a ship called a sail barge. It's that thing that he takes out to the pit of Carcoon, and he sits on in the place where Princess Leia chokes him out, that flying ship. Well, Star Wars collectors have wanted one for a long time, but it's such a big toy, and cost has prohibited Hasbro from producing it. Until now! So, from Hasbro, this comes, and it says, The ultimate dream item for the inspired Star Wars fan. Granted both size and significance, it would be the largest Hasbro product ever created. Woo! Can't wait. Too bad it costs $500, and you gotta pre-order that shit a year in advance. As of this recording, let's see how many pre-orders they have. 1,295 of 5,000 backers with 43 days left to go. So I don't know if this is inspiring or stupid, because I've never really seen a Star Wars product have to be kickstarted. Yeah, I think Mattel did this with the Castle Grayskull thing, but Masters of the Universe hasn't been relevant most of my life. Hell, I was born after the movie came out, and the shit was dead after that, so... He-Man hasn't really been a thing in my lifetime. Star Wars is supposed to appeal to everybody. They can't really guarantee the sale of something like this. So I wouldn't look for this to come out anytime soon. I think $500 is kind of a hard sell for anyone, no matter how much you love something. $500 for a little plastic toy, well, it's not little, it's the biggest Hasbro product ever created, but... Hasbro products tend to be pieces of shit nowadays, so maybe you're just going to get the biggest piece of shit ever created. whoop de doo Now, I don't want to shit on someone that this is their dream item, their grail of collecting, but don't get your hopes up. This probably won't happen, and if it does happen, okay. You can say I told you so to me, but I'm not going to care, because if this thing reaches the mass market, this will probably be found at your local discount bargain chain for pennies on the dollar. And if that happens, everyone has to admit that Stars has fallen off 100%. This high price $500 item found at Ollie's Bargain Bins for $23.50. That would be a steal, but would also be the saddest thing to ever hit the franchise since Disney bought it. So that's really it. I always make these Star Wars videos about the state of the toys. Well, let's talk about the future of the toys, and that's what I did today. Vice Admiral Gender Studies looks stupid, and this Job of the Hut sail barge looks implausible. I'm sure Hasbro appreciates your financial contributions. Good job. You may get your toy. You may get a refund. We'll find out next year. Well, that's it. Did you guys look at anything from Toy Fair? Do you give a shit about toys? Eh, probably not. But you like this channel, we always talk about Star Wars toys, so I figure it was in our wheelhouse. If you're a fan of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it around, do all you can to let everyone know you like world class bullshitters because we're on the rise and we're only getting better with every day. If you're a super fan of this channel, patreon.com slash worldclassbs, a buck a month helps the channel grow, five bucks a month, which is only 17 cents a day, helps the channel grow even further. You get hours of content each week that never hits YouTube. If you really enjoy us as a brand, that's the best way to get everything we do. We put out a Wayne's World commentary this past week. We're getting ready to do one of our patrons' requests of The Edge of Tomorrow, the Tom Cruise movie, so be prepared to listen to that. That's just one of the perks. We'll talk about anything you guys want. We'll even have you on the show if that's what you so desire. So check that out, and if you can't afford it, that's fine. Just spread the word. Do all you can to let everyone know you're a world-class Bullshitters fan. 
I'll be back tomorrow with another video. So be on the lookout for that. And as always, thank you for watching.